This is a demonstration of phosphite stability. It's very important to have a stabilized phosphite to ensure that you have phosphite in the can, which is important for uptake through the foliage compared to phosphate. It's stable, which means that it is very tank mixable and also is crop safe. Here we have two containers containing the same amount of phosphite and to which we are adding copper sulfate, the blue nutrient you can use as a foliar nutrient. On the left with the neutrophyte, you can see that phosphite is retained as phosphite and the blue copper sulfate retains as blue copper sulfate. On the right, there is a reaction where the unstabilized phosphite has taken an oxygen molecule and turned the copper sulfate into copper hydroxide and the phosphite itself has turned into phosphate. Neither of the, the forms of copper or phosphorus are available to the plant through the foliage. This reaction can also take place with taking oxygen from the air, from the spray tank or from other components in the spray tank e.g. fungicides, insecticides, which although may not cause precipitation that may block a sprayer, it will re reduce the biological efficacy of these components. Therefore, it's very important to choose the correct form of phosphite when using it as a foliar nutrient to maximise your effect, maximise your tank mixability and to reduce and mitigate any risk at all against crop damage. Therefore, choose the superior phosphite which is neutrophyte, the most cost-effective phosphite per hectare. In the phosphite stability test you can clearly see the clear blue solution of neutrophyte on the left with the stabilized phosphite that hasn't reacted with the copper and the unstabilized numerica on the right where the phosphite has reacted with the copper and become phosphate.